Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Mex Kelly Fish Keeper. Today I got a special treat for you guys. I happened to be out in San Diego with the wife. We got away for the weekend. And I couldn't pass up the opportunity to come to my favorite store in San Diego. Uh, I'm here in uh, Kearney Mesa, as a matter of fact. And we're at Pet Zone in San Diego. Um, if This happens to be one of my favorite stores. And um, they have great selection in plants. And... Um, and what I'm really into is a lot of the nano fish, and that's what we're gonna see here today. So come along with me and I'll take you guys through the store. Thank you. All right guys, this is us coming into the store here. And as soon as we walk in here, you can see. Here is the selection of plants that they have. Um, one of the things that I really enjoy from buying here are their plants. They usually have uh, pretty good deals on, uh, you can buy three different types of plants for like 20 bucks. Uh, they're bundle plants and their selection is very extensive. Um, they have everything from uh, rhizome plants to stem plants. They also have a great selection of um, hardscape. Um, they have all different types of woods. Uh, they also carry some of the the major li lines like um, U U UNS and ADA. Um, they specialize in, in um, aquascaping in the store. This is why they have such a great selection of plants. Um, I usually, when I come here, I feel like a kid at a candy store. Uh, with so much to see, so much to select from. As you guys can see, they have some of their, their rocks here. They have red lava rock, elephant uh, skin stone rock. They have quite a bit of selection, some spider wood. Um, in here we have some more plants, some stem plants. We have some uh, ferns and anubias. They also have, uh, it looks like they're running a CO2 system on all of this. Not only do they have stuff that's there, but they also carry tissue cultures, uh, which is guaranteed to be snail free, pest free. And they have a really wide selection of the different types of plants. They also have uh, ready to go bags where you can come in, pick them up and, and just don't have to worry about waiting in line or anything. You can do that. They have a lot of little nano tanks, like terrariums, that they've done. Um, they have a really wide assortment of, um, of fish. Uh, they have a lot of nano fish, which is really some of the things that I enjoy. And this kids is one of my favorite stores. And look, for reference, these tanks. That's the size of my hand. These are real small cube tanks. Here's another one. As you can see that, these are, if I had to guess, they're probably about two gallons. That looks like it's like a 10 gallon tank. That's gotta be about a two and a half. Look at that. It's amazing the work that these guys do here. And this is all done in-house. Um, the, what's great about this shop is that not only are they store owners, but they're also hobby enthusiasts. Um, and they're also sponsors of the San Diego uh, Tropical Fish Society. Um, they support the club and they offer type, all different types of discounts for them. Uh, let's go ahead and continue to go down here. They have a great selection of um, dry, dry foods. Um, your typical stuff like a uh, Hikari, um, you have some Sarah, uh, bug bites. Uh, it's just wide selection of different types of foods. They have some hardscape as far as gravel and sand. Here we can see their chemicals for water treatment and their test strips. 
to make sure your aquarium stays healthy and you stay within your parameters. They also have aquascaping tools. They have they have um, scissors and um, thongs that you can use to be able to do your aquascaping. All of this section here is for uh, CO2. If you're running uh, CO2 tanks, um, they carry some of the major brands that you'll find out there. I mean, it is amazing all the goods that they have in this store. It's not very big, but it's very well stocked. Uh, they have some of the control soils. Um, they have some ADA natural soils. I mean, it's just, I can, I literally come here and before I know it, I've been in the store for two, three hours, just kind of looking at everything that they have. They have some of these bookshelf tanks, as you can see right here, some canister filters. They also have um, diffusers for their CO2. They have um, some ADA or Aqua Pros. Um, yeah, it's part of the, I guess, the ADA line for fertilizers and nutrients for your plants. Carry the Flourish line. This is one of their main display tanks. Yeah. It's beautifully skated. Here they have another section of more hardscape. They have redwood, redwood stone. Here's some dragon stone. Very popular in the hobby. A lot of people do a lot of scaping with dragon stone. They have some Siri stone, another popular stone used for aquascaping. This is their the other side of their their plants that they have. I mean, their section, just so you get a point of reference, it's it's a really good uh, I don't know ten foot section of just plants, and that's all they have is just plants there. Uh, behind me, I'll turn it around now. You can see all the rows and there's three sections of these where they have all their all their livestock and it, it's, you'd be hard pressed not to find what you're looking here they they're so well stocked they carry all kinds of of um, of livestock and they also specialize in monster fish they have uh, arowanas um they have uh you know your typical oscars and stuff like that uh but um from what i was reading on the on the website they also um they can also order you they can do a special order for what you're looking for have guppies this, i've gotten these guppies from them before the double ear guppies I've also bought uh, rum nose tetras from them, and they're all doing good. Here we have some more hardscape, ancient pagoda stone, black mountain stone, black, black mountain siri, I mean, just a selection of stuff you're going to find in the stores is, is amazing. I mean, for such a place, uh, which is not a very big building located in in a strip mall, I mean, it's just really, really amazing the type of stuff you can find at this store.
like I said, this is by far one of my favorite stores. Every time I come to San Diego, it's Amanda Story stop for me. I don't care what I come down here for. You can also get a pretty expensive stop for me <laughs> or for anybody in the hobby because you're bound to walk out with something. Some more hardscape. This is what's called, oh, I've never seen this before, El Jefe Stone. This would be great for your, your nano aquariums for to be able to find some stones that'll fit in that because everything else like that one there if you look at it it's a lot bigger but this would be perfect for your nanoscapes okay, yeah some antlers in here some quarries some angelfish Skunk. It looks like skunk quarries. Some tetras. Also right behind me, they have a great selection of nano tanks. Uh, you have everything from ADA to UNS. Um, anything from one and a half gallons to it might look like 20 gallon tanks. They're all different assortment of tanks. They carry some lights also. They got pendant lights. They have uh, the, the, the strips that go on top of the lights. Uh, ceramic caves for your pleckles. I mean, I still have not been able to come to the store and not find what it is that I'm looking for. Every single time that I come here, there's it's hard not to walk out without buying something because their selection is so extensive. In here, um, they have their, their shrimp, their neocaridina shrimp and the caridinas. And they have quite a selection too. We'll go ahead and go to the next one. Start, starting here, you get you start seeing more cichlids. Um, and still, uh, they got some yo-yo loaches. They got some eels. Your convicts. They got they got a zebra, bala sharks, some more eels. They also have stuff that's not very common, like they have the, the blind tetras. Those are not very common. You don't find them just in most stores. They have some flag fish in here. Some zebra loaches. I got some rainbow fish in here. Dwarf neon. Some more tetras up here. Bleeding heart tetras. Very nice looking too. They look very healthy. Some garamis. They have a lot of garamis, different variations, some more eels. I love those eels. Some Colombian tetras and little gobies, bumblebee gobies. Some coolie loaches. And I guess that's like a horse face loach. 
Those are not very common. Your classic tiger barbs. White cloud minnows down here. These are some of my favorite. I really like some color. And of course, uh, cherry barks. I keep both of those. They got some SAEs. And these are, this is interesting because some of these are really hard to come by because usually what you end up seeing at the, at the stores are not, they'll try to sell them to you as Siamese algae eaters, but they tend to be the flying fox, which are totally different fish. Um, but these are actually the Siamese algae eaters. They also have some Hill Street loaches. Here we have some panda quarries. It's pretty cool. These are some neon neon tetras with some uh, Odessa barbs. Oh, here we go. Here are the silver flying foxes. Although these are not typically the ones that I've used to see at the store. I guess the difference between the Siamese algae eaters and the flying foxes, they get confused. If I'm not mistaken, what happens is that perpendicular line that runs along the, the body, I think on the flying fox, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make it all the way back to the back fin. Um, but I'd have to look that up again. I've, it's been a while since I've done any research on that. In here they have some crabs. Looks like little filler crabs. Get them up here. <laughs> if you like coolie loaches, you're gonna like this tank. It's nothing but coolie loaches. Look at them. They have, uh, looks like black coolie loaches without the bands. Look at that. And some quarries. Up here we have some neon tetras. No, these are cardinal tetras. Cardinal tetras. The difference between those and neons, if you look at that, uh, the red line, it goes all the way across the body. And on the neon tetras, it only goes about halfway through. Some rasboras. Electric blue Jack Dempsey's. These guys haven't colored up yet. Some larger horse face, I mean, some loaches. here we have some harlot some uh, yeah I guess these are the harlequin resboras I don't know what those little loaches are down there though those are it's either loach or a gobi no it's a oh, okay it's a dwarf chain loach nice about these tetras is that you can keep them at a hotter temperature so typically you'll see them paired up with uh, discus and um, and ram cichlids uh, like the German blue rams and stuff like that because they tend to like the hotter temperatures and those tend to do better in the 
in those uh, hotter waters. You got some Daniels, some uh, glass ghost uh, catfish. Nice little colony. You can almost just see the heads come up on the video. <laughs> We got some more um, tiger barbs. These are these are called golden tiger barbs, and also another loach back there. That's a skunk loach. You look at those guys. Oh, this is pretty cool looking fish. Is this the marbled marbled goby? Look at these guys. See if I can get them to focus. There we go. Look like little dragons. There's another guy right here. They got some rams, some golden rams. These guys are under quarantine right now. Looks like I got a little bit of ache. Down in here, we got some betas. Just some of their betas. Here you go guys, I was telling you they guys, they carry arowanas. That's one that they got there. Uh, I also know that they have uh, a lot of uh, flower horns too. This looks like these blue polars. Or polar blue parrots. Got a pretty good selection of some parrot fish. Have some assassin snails. You got more parrot fish over here, blood parrots. Look at them. Wow, these are cool. What are these? Oh, these are the lamp eyes. I've heard about these. I had never seen them. Cool little nano fish. I don't know if it's coming up real good on the video, but what's so unique about these is that it almost seems they have lights in their eyes and they, they, they sparkle. That's pretty cool fish. Let's see what else they have. more white clouds oh some thread fin um, rainbows these guys are pretty cool especially when they're oh, let me get them in the picture there we go these guys right here when they start flaring up they're an amazing looking little tetra I mean uh, rainbow fish you got a knife fish Oh, here we go. Here are the flower horns. Look at these guys. Look at the hump on this guy, and he's small too. Look at that. He's about the size of my pinky. And look at the colors and the hump. Look at this guy. What a beauty. Parrot fish. Blood parrot. Look at this guy right here. Look at the hump. He's also. Not very big, and look at look at the colors that he's exhibiting. Look how he interacts with me. That's what's that's what really neat about these flower horns is that they tend to interact with you a lot more than some of the other fish. Look at the colors of this guy. Beautiful fish. Again, just for reference, you can kind of see how big he is. 
see what else we got. We got a pleco back in there. We got some catfish. I think these are uh, Shovelnose catfish. And these are tiny, but these guys will get humongous. If you get something like that, you gotta make sure you got the room to keep those. Or else they'll end up in some rescue. You got some electric blue Acaras, some regular Acaras, some fire mouth. some em Emler Tetras, some snails. Oh, bichers. A whole tank full of little bichers. These are Senegal bichers. I guess these don't get very big. Not not like the other bichers. These guys are a little bit bigger. I think these are like the ones that uh, John from KG Tropicals carries. I mean, that he has in his Oscar tank. That's an interesting looking guy. I don't know what that barracuda kind of looking fish is. It's a gar. Okay. Here's another bicher. What are these guys? These are some small flower ones. Red eye, red eye. Okay, here's here's the difference between the neon, the cardinals and the neon. So if you notice on the neon tetras, you see how that red line comes up only halfway up the body, and on the cardinals you'll have it go all the way across. They have some amano shrimp. Great algae eaters. Uh, if you have anything that's aquascape, these are your best friends. The amano shrimp. Of course, we gotta have some Oscars. Check this out. A freshwater eel, a mora eel. Yeah, it's called a snowflake moray eel. Four five inch. Yeah, four five inch. And that's bracket water, right? Yeah, bracket water. On this tank here, I guess they have some uh, bamboo shrimp. And these guys will feed off of the water column. If you look at their their little hands or claws, if you want to call them, they have these little bristles in there, and they capture debris that's flying in the in the water column, and that's how they feed. some more uh, parrot fish. These are platinum parrots. We got some fantosis. Some clown loaches. Oh, look at these guys. Yeah, these are some Daniels, teeny weeny Daniels. Let's see if I can get these guys to focus. These guys are brackish water puffers. Some more brackish puffers. 
all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the store like i said this is one of my favorite stores every time i get an opportunity when i'm in san diego it's almost a mandatory stop for me not something that makes my wife very happy but that's okay i'll deal with those repercussions later um and again once again i did stop here and i had to pick up some stuff i couldn't leave out the store without doing that um it'll be an, it'll be you'll see what i picked up when i set up the the goldfish in the 65 gallon aquarium um and till then uh give me a like and subscribe if you really like what i'm doing here and uh we'll see each other again thank you